Hello everyone, welcome at iSERP Academy. In this tutorial, we will have a look at our iSERP cloud. Specifically, let's have a look how to change your plan. Imagine the situation that you have currently the standard plan. And because iSERP cloud have two plans, standard and professional, you can pretty easily switch from one to another. So let's have a look how to do that. First of all, you have to log in into your web admin, like I am now. Then, on the top right corner of your screen, you should see your admin account. And there is a menu with subscription. So let's go there. Here we can see all the details about our subscription, our current plan, storage per user, price per user, active users, and total monthly costs. And as you can see right here, I have a standard plan, which is $3.5 per month per user, and total monthly cost even if I have just one active user, is 35. Why 35? Well, it's because you have to have at least 10 users in every single iSERP cloud. So 10 users would be charged each month. But now let's have a look how to change your plan. What if I'd like to upgrade my plan from standard to professional? Well, it's pretty easy. Just go here to change button and that should automatically open you a new web page where you have the selection of two plans, which iSERP Cloud is now offering. Standard and professional. Standard, $3.5 per user per month, with 50 gigs of email and 500 gigs of file storage. To be honest, the standard plan is good for some small businesses, but once you are looking for 24-7 support with desktop offices and other stuff, I highly recommend you to upgrade to the professional plan. So let's do that right now. I will just press here the order now button, which will verify my account. And after a few moments, I should be able to see that the plan, the change plan was successful. Yeah, exactly like this one. So once the plan was successfully changed, now we can switch back to our web admin. And if I will refresh the page, now I can see that I am currently running the professional plan and the change was completely successful. Therefore, also the total monthly costs are now higher because I selected the professional plan with seven per user per month. So 10 users, 70. And because we now change the plan from standard to professional and ISOR would like to be honest, you will only pay the number of days you have used the standard plan within this month and number of days you have used the professional plan within this month. So it will be completely fair invoice the next time. And the same way as I now described how to upgrade the professional plan from the standard plan, you can actually, in case you don't really need such amount of services, downgrade from professional to standard plan. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you very much for your attention and see you later. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I would also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to iSorb.